afternoon, DC. I'm Lexi. And I'm Peyton. And today is Wednesday, September 25th. Attention students, blackout shirts are on sale in the lobby all week during lunch. Shirts are $10 and the proceeds are going to the National CV CMV Foundation. CMV is a largely unknown but potentially deadly virus that can be passed from mother to child during pregnancy. One child every hour is permanently disabled by the CMV virus. Please stop by the table in the lobby to learn more about how this virus can be pre prevented in the future. Attention juniors, there will be an informational meeting for students interested in the Governor's Scholars Program on October 2nd at 7.30 a.m. in the DCH Media Center. Helpful hints about the application process will be shared. Come one, come all. <laughs> Attention sophomores and juniors, PSAT signups are available in guidance for any sophomore or junior. This is the only entrance into the National Merit Co Competition to compete for scholarships. These scores can also be used when applying for many junior programs. Bring, seven, bring a $17 check to guidance to sign up. Attention students, the deadline to sign up for the October ATC without late fees has been extended. See guidance or Ms. Mr. Pippin in the CCR room for more information. Now stay tuned for this week's edition of Powers Point. DC family, glad to be able to be with you here on a Wednesday. Uh, couldn't couldn't get started uh, Monday like we'd like to, but uh, we're with you today. So welcome to Powers Points, and um, hope everybody's having a great week up to now. We've got one more day this week, and then uh, Friday you guys are off. So enjoy that day and have a great weekend. Today I want to talk to you about a word. Uh, the word for the week is integrity. Integrity is. Um, is a value, it's a virtue that we all should strive to uh, have in our life and, and show each and every day. It is adherence to moral and ethical principles, soundness of moral character, honesty. Uh, those are things, like I said, we should be striving for to be uh, that type of person and to treat others that way, to be honest, be an honest person. Uh, we strengthen our integrity by repeatedly doing the right thing even when no one is watching, repeatedly doing the right thing, not just every once in a while, but all the time, even when no one is watching. You know, it's easy to do the right thing when people are watching you and you're, you're kind of in the spotlight, but what type of person are you and what decisions do you make when you are by yourself, when you know that if you mess up, no one's going to know about it? Um, that is the sign uh, of whether a person has integrity or not. Um, don't think you can flirt with temptation and get away with it. Maintain absolute integrity. Always tell the truth. Always keep your promises. Always flee from temptation. Keep your moral compass strong, and your integrity will never get scorched. Hope everybody listened to that and liked it. I uh, hope everybody strives to be more of a person of integrity. Uh, the thing is, it doesn't matter what your past is. It really matters about who you are today and who you plan to be uh, and work on being in the future. So, Everybody has a great day today, and as always, stay classy, D.C. I have one shout-out this week. I'd like to have a shout-out to Noah Owen. He's been named the National Merit Semifinalist, which represents the top 1% of students who took the PSAT in 2018. He now gets to compete for National Merit Scholarship. So congratulations to you, Noah. Uh, it's a great accomplishment, and we're pulling for you, and best of luck to you and in your future with the National Merit uh, Scholarships. So, thank you. See ya. Pack your bags, Panthers. We're heading to Europe next summer. If you're interested in touring Germany, the Czech Republic, and Switzerland next summer, this trip is for you. Spots are limited, so see sign up as soon as possible. See Miss Head in room 136 for more information. Attention juniors and seniors, applications for the U.S. Senate Youth Program are available in guidance. Two student leaders are chosen from each state to go on an all-expensive paid trip to Washington, D.C., as well as receiving a $10,000 scholarship. Interested students must hold an elected office in student government or in a civil organization. The D.C. boys bowling team will have tryouts for freshmen and sophomore boys on October 1st at Diamond Lanes Midtown. 
The time is 6 p.m. You must have a physical with you in order to try out. You can contact Coach Johnson by email at byronjohnson at davis.kyschools.s. Now stay tuned for this week's edition of With It Wednesdays. Welcome back to another episode of With It Wednesday. I'm joined by... Miss Powers. How have you been doing today? I've been doing well. How have you been? I've been all right. So we're just going to ask you a few questions, get people or let people get to know you a little bit more. So uh, what are your hobbies? Um, I enjoy going to my kids' activities and watching them perform or compete in anything, basically. Um, I also enjoy running and competing in triathlons. Who got you into that? Um, it's just something I picked up after having three kids. So it was a later in life hobby, I guess. I used to say I didn't like to sweat. And then um, a friend challenged me to try a couch to 5K. And so from there, it was like, fun to have that sense of accomplishment and then just kind of kept going from there and that's just the time of day um, in the morning that I like to spend with friends um, that I can carve out of my day for me so just some me time all right um so tell us about tell us a little bit about your background um, I grew up in Owensboro, uh, graduated from Apollo High School and went to Western, so didn't go too far from home. And then I was able to come back here and actually student teach at Davis County High School in the English department. Um, I taught English and humanities here for six years. Um, also coached dance and cheer in the past. From there, I became a counselor in the city schools at middle school level for about six years. And I've been back here, I think, nine years as a high school counselor. Uh, this is my 21st year in education. All right. Do you have any pets? I do. I have a dog named Champ, and I have a picture of him right here. That's nice. What type of breed is he? He's a golden doodle. He'll be six oh. years old in December. Oh, that's nice. So if you were in this position, what do you think you'd be doing? Um, before deciding to go into education, I um, liked communications, thought about majoring in public relations, and I dreamed of being on the Today Show. That didn't pan out, but I have been on the Today Show um, just in the plaza yelling, hey, y'all, we're from Owensboro, <laughs> Kentucky. So that was my one shining moment. I, I can relate to that. Well, not really, but, you know. <laughs> so uh, what's something that not many people uh, – know about you around here um i would say i guess maybe students don't know that i uh was an iron man a couple years ago completed an iron man and i have ran 19 marathons i could never all right <laughs> is there anything else you want to add no i can't think of anything all right thank you attention students come join csu csu christian student union meets every Friday morning at 740 in room 160 at the end of the business hallway. CSU is a student-led club where students come together to discuss the Bible and encourage each other to grow stronger in faith. Want to learn more? See Ms. Tammy Askins in room 160 during CCR or between classes. Attention students, just a reminder that Sadie Hawkins dance tickets are on sale during lunch until Thursday. Tickets are $10 and no tickets will be sold at the door. Here's what's happening today at DC. There's a fundraiser at Five Guys from 4 to 10 p.m. for the football team. Stay classy, 